Hi guys. Okay, so I have been reading all of your comments. Thank you for liking and commenting. Um, and a lot of your questions have been around manifestation and affirmations and how I got to where I am. So I thought that I would drop a few gems and give you a few manifestation, um, I guess I'm gonna say gems again. A lot of people say that manifestation is like lying to yourself or magic. Do you think that just like having conversations about what you want in life is magic? or lying to yourself. None of it is fake. All of it is real. If you if you want something, you can have it. And I'm not like, you know, I'm not one of these people that's like on a stage, like giving you a notebook and having you stay for a week and putting you through trial and errors and all these things. What I'm just telling you is, if you speak it, if you write it, and if you put action behind it, you can have it. That's not magic, that's common sense. Okay, so how I learned about manifestation is kind of funny because it was when The Secret first came out. Okay, do not judge me, okay? We all know about The Secret. I was an Oprah fan, she put it on her show and we all geeked out and I must have been 18 and we had all gone, gone over to my friend's house and we were like, okay, The Secret. And we just watched Oprah and we like got the movie and we got the book and we started putting vision boards together. And I had never done that before, but what it did was it started getting me excited about my future and what I actually wanted. Instead of just saying, I wanna be successful, I wanna be rich, I wanna be in love. It actually helped me understand details about how to ask for what I wanted. Every, it, nothing was vague and nothing was too broad. I, I actually kind of honed in on um, different aspects of my life. So for example, on one vision board, I had a big house. Um, one that I loved. I had money signs, <laughs> kind of like all dripping all over each other. I would put like an actual dollar bill and I would put a comma and like add zeros to it. I put Sports Illustrated. A woman speaking like that um, with a red carpet under her and a pedestal um, that would represent TED Talks. A lingerie brand, I put a makeup brand and I put that cork board in my bedroom um, so that it would face me so that when I would wake up and when I would go to bed, it would be one of the last things that I would see. Here's the thing, I didn't wanna like put myself in such a box, but if there is something that you wanna work with that's so specific to you, put it up there, put it on. I mean, TED Talk, I was so specific. I wanted to do a TED Talk and I did it. Sports Illustrated, I wanted to shoot for Sports Illustrated. I wanted a cover, but I will let you guys know, these things take time and this vision board specifically took me three years. You can write down in a journal exactly what you want. You can categorize it. I mean, literally there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just about the action and about doing it for yourself. What is it that you know that you could do? What is something that maybe could happen? I, my track record with my vision board is like, you know, it's pretty good. Part of me feels like it's really good because I don't keep what my goals are to just myself. I talk about them with the people that work for me, that work around me. Um, I'm not just keeping a secret that, get it, a secret. Don't just keep the secret, talk about it. In talking about what you want and what your goals are and, and what your dreams are, people wanna help you. People wanna come in and, and give you a, a helping hand, whether it's just a piece of advice or um, a leg up or you know a, whatever, a loan, whatever it is that you're looking for. If you're manifesting all of these big dreams and you have all these big goals, but you're going behind your own back and talking to yourself in the mirror and saying, God, you really suck and you really are dumb and you really need to get it together. You have nothing going on for yourself. What are you doing? Not only are you blocking your own blessings, but you're blocking your future. You are the roadblock to what it is that you are actually trying to manifest. Make sure you're talking well to yourself and about yourself because all of that has to do with what it is your dreams and your goals are. Remember to congratulate yourself when you reach your goal, because that's the biggest thing, to be able to look back and see what your achievements are and to not be constantly looking forward to, what have I not done? Where am I going again? Remember to look back and say, you did a great job. Okay guys, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below. You can also go check out my TikToks and I'll see you guys soon, bye.